Hello everyone, my name is Arun from usitrecruit.com. Today, I'm going to talk about a tool where you can source resumes on Google. And before that, before moving, I would like to ask you one thing. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. Without further delay, let's start the video. Uh, let's open up your Chrome browser and start typing recruit M in that as you see on the screen as it will be pop up with a, a new uh, window that is with the first link called x-ray search linkedin and more and click on that link and you will be open a website called recruit m which is a very useful website for x-ray search and you can also uh, see the um, see here you can able to source the resumes by using all different social platforms linkedin zing twitter and everything and let's go to the about page of this website see as this is a very useful website let's remember the founder of this website who is a lady mebly was working as a contractor once she found that she used to be a developer so she developed this tool to make everyone uh, to make the recruitment easier so let's get started uh, let's uh, dive in into the tool and uh, let's know what is happening here and let's uh, source the resumes for uh, uh, let's select the country name as United States and uh, let's source for the resumes for Java developer give the title as Java developer and include your keywords which are included or if you haven't nothing leave it empty and hit on enter or and you can see here that we have three options one is copy URL and save search and open in Google right now we uh, will open this it in Google okay click on this open in Google button and you can see that uh, there are profiles appearing in the Google this is called where I was talking about you can source the resumes through using Google as well click on that you will be redirected to the LinkedIn website and you can see that he's uh, currently available in the market and he's a green card sponsor and you can see uh, these kind of ev these uh, profiles will be uh, refreshed every half an hour so uh, don't get uh, uh, carried away saying that these profiles are stagnant or these profiles are this one and the same and let's open the second one and see she is also looking for the jobs but don't think every profile which comes up on this search will be actively looking but we will get the profiles which we are looking for and hidden uh, hidden talent from Google and let's uh, search for uh, uh, a particular skill in the second tab called dribble dribble is a website where uh, which is a specifically uh, designed for the uh, front-end developers good for finding front-end developers like graphic designers illustrators typographers logo designers and other creative works so let's give a give the keyword as javascript and hit on enter button or click on the find the right people on dribble uh, button okay as the same way open this in google and you'll be uh, getting the profiles like this and click on any of the profile and you'll be redirected to the dribble website where you can find this codes and their own um, portfolio where they are showing their own projects and you can check whether he is a genuine guy or what kind of uh, codes he has done by this way you can copy this uh, uh, their username and paste it in Google, LinkedIn then you can able to find his you can connect with him and uh, coming to the <clears throat> third one which is a github sourcing which everyone thinks that which is very hard to find but by using this tool it is very easy just give the skills which you want and hit on find the right people on github and just click on uh, google button just you can find it uh, the profiles and you, where you can see you can able to find this uh, profile username and their email someone will be someone email address will be open and if you don't have sign up with that uh, with a free account you can get their email address and you can reach up them but no phone numbers are available
and uh, coming to the fourth thing uh, zing we won't we don't use zing right off as of now and uh, let's jump to uh, the stack overflow stack overflow is a q and a for developers which means they can get all the uh, question and answers where we can get from Quora and hit on open in Google and you can see the same way you'll get all the resumes which you can uh, appear like um, wh where we got from github and stack overflow and by using his name you can search it in Google and you can connect with him these are see you will get a doubt that why don't we search in LinkedIn but LinkedIn has a specifically uh, search limit so in order to um, uh, overcome